Alrighty, so we are now looking still on page 96. Final question, question three. So we set up our table, we go attic, we go basement. We want a volume, we want a concentration, we want an N, our moles, and we have any extra info if there might be in the question. So we have a look, and again, when we're trying to figure out our numbers, we are looking at for whatever goes into the basement will be a whole number. If there's a decimal after it, it will be a, a zero. So when we're looking at this now, this is what is going to go into our basement. Um, there is no concentration for it. So this must be our question mark. And if you look at the very, very end down here, that is our sulfuric acid. So that all works out. So we're putting our 25 centimeters cubed this time is going into our basement. So 25.0 centimeters cubed. This is going to be our question mark. Um, and our ratio from our equation for our sulfuric acid is going to be one. Now, if you wish to write um, above this, the H2SO4, you absolutely can. If you wish to write the NaOH over here, you absolutely can. I'm then looking for what other numbers are left. So I have, excuse me, 17.6 here and a point one zero two five. And again, the, the number with the decimal places of numbers other than zero will be what's going in your attic. So I have 17.65 centimeters cubed. I have a concentration of 0 0.1025 big M and my sodium hydroxide in terms of my ratio is zero, or sorry, is two. So again, we're gonna do first principle maths, getting bored of this now. So we start with a, a, our big M value. This is going to be our way in. Um, when we, we're going to go down, when we go down, we divide by a thousand to turn our moles into centimeters cubed. We then go up. When we go up, we multiply by our tighter volume. When we get to the top, we're going to use our ratio, which in this case is going to be two is to one. Once we find our moles here, we're going back down. We are dividing by the tighter volume to again give us moles in a centimeter cubed. And then finally, to finish off our first principles, we are multiplying by a thousand, which is going to give us our concentration of our sulfuric acid. We are then going to look at converting our big M into um, our moles per liter. We're going to multiply it by a molar mass that we have to calculate it, a relative molecular mass, and we will be able to find the mass, excuse me, of our um, sulfuric acid. So there's no extra info in this question. We just get into the habit of at least writing it because we will have titrations or we'll have extra information and we're going to have to do something to it. So we always start, we're going to start in terms of our mats up here at this part of our triangle. Um, we always start by saying what 0 0.1025 big M means. That means 0 0.1025 moles per 1,000 centimeter cubed. We are going to go divided by a thousand so 0 0.1025 divided by a thousand we are going down um our w so when we do this whatever format the calculator gives to you you just put in so i'm getting 1.025 by 10 to the minus 4 moles that is in one centimeter cubed so i've gone down to here now the next thing we do is we multiply by our tighter volume. So in that case, we're multiplying by 17.65 centimeters cubed. When I do that, my calculator spits out 1.80. I'm going to just put in the 9 by 10 to the minus 3 moles. And that is in 17.65 centimeters cubed. So to remind myself, that's my first tighter volume. So I'm now gone up to this point of my W. We then are going to use our ratio. The ratio that we're interested in is a two is to one. So we now know that one the two equivalents is worth 1.8 by 10 to the minus three. So I'm now going to have to divide by two. When I do that, I end up at 9.045 by 10 to the minus four moles. And again, this is now in 25 centimeter cubed. That's my other tighter volume. 
which is now bringing me, I've gone across the top, so I'm over here at the right side of my flat part. I now have to find out what's in one centimeter cubed, so I'm going to take the 9045 by 10 to the minus 4, and I'm going to divide that by 25. When I do that, I'm going to get 3.618 by 10 to the minus 5 moles, and that's now in a centimeter cubed. So that has now brought me down to this portion. And to finish my first principle of maths, I'm going to multiply that answer by a thousand. And that is going to give me not 0 0.036. I'm going to write in everything that is here, 2, 5, big M. Now, if I leave my answer like this with all of these significant figures, they are going to mark it as a slip. So I lose um, one mark. And we don't really want to lose marks if we don't have to. So I now have to convert this to how many significant figures I have in my question. So if we look up here at our data table, that is technically four significant figures. So I have to have a little look here and it's one, two, three, four. I look at the number that follows the eight. So I look at the two that doesn't influence my eight. So my final answer is going to be not point zero three six one eight big M. Away we go. The last bit then is using my mass triangle. So I now have moles, not point zero three six one eight. I need to multiply that by the molecular mass, on this case of H2SO4. So again, somewhere to the side of your page, you fill it all out. So we have hydrogen is one, but I have two of them. Sulfur is 32 and oxygen is going to be 16 by 4. So we plug all of that into our calculator and when we are done and we add it up, it comes out as 98. By showing that, that allows me, if I've done my piece of maths correctly, when they mark it, I will get all of the marks going for this. And as we say, if you for some reason wrote in 97 instead of 98, they then would turn that into a slip for you. Okay. So show your examiner everything. So we finish this off, multiply by 98, 0.03618. When we do this, we end up with, again, I'm going to show you everything, 3.54564 grams in a litre. I can't leave it like that. I have to, I'm going to go to four significant figures. I look at my six here, and my six here will make my five round up. So 3.546 grams in a litre is where I'm going to end that part of my maths. So we now go and you don't have to annotate if you don't wish to annotate. But if you want to and you can, then why not do it? So it asks up here to calculate the moles of sulfuric acid or sodium hydroxide used at the end point. So my moles of sodium hydroxide used at my end point is the 1.809 by 10 to the minus 3, so I annotate that with the 1. In point 2, it's asking me the moles of sulfuric acid at neutralized at my end point. So this is after I've used my ratio. So we go 2 here. And then finally, it's asking me my concentration in big M. So this is my big M, number 3, and it's asking me also for my concentration in grams per litre. And I'm wondering now from looking at this, did I make a boo-boo when I typed? But because I have two different numbers here, I don't think I did. 0 0.03618 by 98. No, nope, this is right. This is, is one off wrong. So I just put my three here and I am done. So this is where we're going to finish. Again, we just, the recommendation is we always do these two pieces of maths and then we go back and we check our question you can decide whether you annotate for other questions there will be extra bits that you will have to do after this event but for now as our introduction this is the straightforward 